Hi everyone, just for here, us, all of us here from Battlefront, uh, here to give a little bit of a Christmas message. Um, first of all, wish you all a very Merry Christmas and uh, Happy Holidays and we thought we'd just give you a bit of a rundown of what has been and what is coming. So first of all, what has been, Flames of Wars had a great year. Uh, we're really pleased. We got into the Pacific this, this year, the Japanese and the US Marine Corps. We got the uh, Hardback Bulge compilations out to everyone. And some great new plastic army deals. Team Yankee has been a, a runaway success that's for us. And now it's got three armies. We've got the British, we've got the West Germans, and uh, in a few weeks time, uh, the East Germans will be coming to you. Um, but it's just been a great thing and lots more coming. Tanks just has been a massive hit for us. It's just been uh, wonderful to see so many people playing tanks and getting into learning about World War II and its vehicles and everything. And uh, of course the new board games from GF9. We've got uh, Star Trek Ascendancy, Tyrants of the Underdark and of course Family Guy. Um, so it's just been a great year for Battlefront here. We've just really enjoyed making some wonderful product mm. and, uh, and uh, everyone's a bit tired at the moment with version <laughs> 4 but uh, yeah, and everyone's looking forward to a bit of a break. But next year's going to be great. Uh, yeah, um, we're, I think 2016 was good but 2017 is going to be just great. Uh, let's talk about Team Yankee first. We've got the East Germans in January, the Volks Army. Um, after that we've got Red Thunder and Stripes, which is just updating all the Soviet and all the US forces with lots of new cool new plastics and cool new releases for both of them. Uh, bringing out you know, a lot more choices for both the Warsaw Pack and the, and the American forces. And then, of course, hopefully by the end of the year, but maybe the following year, early the following year, we'll have Team Yankee Vietnam. So, uh, standalone rule book with all the army lists and the rules and everything all in one book. Um, so, all are combined together and adding some more cool stuff. Um, we've got some Marines coming and a, uh, some North Vietnamese sappers and a few other things in there. I suppose the the elephant in the room on the forums has been uh, Midwar, an upcoming fourth edition. Midwar's are, uh, it's really exciting for us to go back to where our roots were all those years ago. How long ago, Phil? 15. <laughs> 15 years ago since we've been there, so. Oh, it's 10 since we've been there, but 15 when we started. Yeah. Well, a long time, a decade. <laughs> and um, we're, we're going back there, back to the desert. and. Uh, the mid mid war desert, we've got lots of new cool plastics, we've got some great box sets, some great deals with them. Um, but they look, it just, it's going to be a great period and uh, we're starting off this year with the British and the Germans and then later in the year you're going to get the Americans and the Italians, and even the Italians are going to get their own plastics. They look really cool, mm -hmm. those Italian uh, samples with the Italian plastics. Um, the mid-war army deals, the like we're doing with Team Yankee now, all they're going to have their own uh, rule book inside there and they're a standalone product and it's just going to be, uh, it's, it's really exciting. The other thing we're doing is, um, I've got it here, well, I haven't actually got it here, I've got uh, some other book with some covers stuck to it, <laughs> but uh, this is what you're getting free. Bring in any version 3 rule book, whether it be the small one, the big one, any one to a shop or on our, on our web website, we'll tell you in the new year how to do it and, um, other, otherwise, but hopefully you can make it to the shop. And we'll give you a brand new A4 set of rules for early and late war and an A5 um, special rules and warriors. This is a book done by Wayne here. That's his, uh, that's been his uh, uh, effort for the last while. <laughs> Wayne? Yep. So uh, we're really excited about this. You're going to get so Wayne earns no no income because we give this away free. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, go in there, get it, and all I, and all we ever ask for you to do is to give it a go and try it. But uh, yeah, that and it makes it makes every single list that you've got in any comp compilation or any early or late war book usable. 
So it's going to be it's it's going to be exciting. Um, the other thing we've got, of course, is a uh, for the new year we've got tanks. Uh, lots of new desert stuff coming out for the tanks. A lot lots of new OP stuff. Yep, Chris. Yeah, full full set of organised play campaigns to support the new desert stuff for tanks, and uh, as well as bringing organised play to Flames of War in the new year. Indeed, as we've got that organised play for Flames of War is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Andrew's been working on working out on that and uh, yeah, he's got some great ideas there and again in the new year that's that's kind of coming. Um, the Desert Red books, the Africa books, uh, James has written the Desert Red books, James. Mm -hmm. Yes, looking forward to seeing how um, how people enjoy that one. And Africa, Phil here. <laughs> yep. We took the British off Africa, he usually does all the British books but this time he's got the Germans. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Having to do Germans. Yes. <laughs> and and it's a couple of other new things for the year. Um, Andrew's love for the while was Doctor Who, and we've got the Doctor Who board game coming out, and a uh, and lots of new other stuff as well. It was too much to mention. Mm. But guys, thank you for listening to us. We'd like to say some thank yous for the end of the year. All the podcasts and videos, the Beasts of War, the What Would Patton Do, WWPD guys, thank you all of you, all the guys who put stuff up on the internet, Facebook, YouTube, mm. Instagram, uh, it helps people immensely who are nowhere near a store and, and who people who are in between going to a store, they're great resources, thank you, thank you all, all you guys and we really appreciate your efforts. And thank you to all our customers and all our friends out there. Um, listen, I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and uh, a prosperous New Year.